the first question is coming from shweta bindu pranamacharya ji ayn rand in her introduction to the fountain head says my purpose first cause and prime mover is the portrayal of howard rourke as an end in himself but neither politics nor ethics nor philosophy is an end in itself neither in life nor in literature only man is an end in itself so she says kindly elaborate on what these lines exactly mean and what is the significance of using the word only in the statement only man is an end in himself isn't it obvious shweta beat any work valuable to human beings coming from any tradition any country any age any author the purpose obviously is only one the human being the eastern specifically indian scriptures initiate by saying that their purpose is to rid man of the various kinds of sufferings he brings upon himself we have talked of tapatre in the past hmm? the three kinds of torments you obviously know that the purpose of all wisdom literature all spirituality is to help man nothing else that's what ayn rand is saying here only man is an end in himself everything else that man does everything else that man creates for fellow human beings is just a medium an instrument a method a way to help man the method cannot be the end the medium cannot be the destination so science is not an end literature is not an end scriptures are not an end the end is only one the welfare of the human being hmm? it is for the sake of his own welfare that man devises so many means otherwise what is the need for advanced mathematics scientific knowledge spiritual insights 
why must a teacher teach then? Why must an author write then? Therefore, you have to be a bit cautious when somebody says that he or she does something just for the sake of it. Such a statement befits only somebody living on a very high plane of consciousness. Only if you are really free of sufferings and hence free of purpose, are you then enlightened to say, entitled to say, that you do stuff for the sake of it. Otherwise, stuff cannot be done for the sake of stuff. Stuff has to be done for the sake of man. And precisely that means that stuff has to be done for the sake of man's freedom from suffering and illusions and all kinds of diseases. And then that is the only touchstone. That is the only criteria on which you can assess any action, any thought, any motivation, any means, any methods, a work of art, an innovation in technology. Does it really help man? Because as the author says here, only man is an end in himself. Does it help me? Because the end is me. The end is my welfare. The thing is not an end in itself. Hmm? The thing is an end in itself only for the one who is now free of dependence on things for his well-being. Once you are free of things, then you can toy with things. Now things are not a means, things are not a medium because you do not need a means. Now you do not need a medium because you have nowhere to reach, you are already home. If you are in such a condition, in which you can surely say that you are home, then you can engage in fun and frolic and game and sport for the sake of fun and frolic. Else remember that whatever you have, whatever you know, whatever you do, wherever you go, all must be for the sake of your welfare and your welfare lies in freedom from what bugs you, holds you back, fetters you. <laughs>